Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out if you enjoy the video. It really does help my channel, but more importantly, it circulates the video so that others that need to see the messages and, and hear the messages do, do get them. Um, I want to remind you that it is a general reading. It's definitely going to completely resonate for some of you, but not all of you. So take what does resonate. That's yours. Leave the rest behind. Normally, a uh, moon reading is done with your rising sign, okay? But feel free to check your sun and your moon sign as well, because as it turns out, those seem to resonate sometimes for others as well. Now, this is... Um, a new moon in Scorpio, but it's also a super new moon, okay? And the key energies for this moon are going to be escape, outrageousness, sex, and awakenings. And Yasmin Bolin says that, like they say on the radio, the hits just keep coming. This month, even before we go into the next eclipse season, we have the new moon in deep, dark Scorpio closely aligned with the outrageous maverick planet Uranus. In other words, the skies are electric around the November new moon. If at the end of this year, you feel like you're skidding towards the finishing line, that's why. So this will have been a very challenging year for many, thanks to all the jarring alignments. And we're nearly at the end of it, thank God. Because it, you know, for a lot of us, it's been one of those years. So was last year. So all that remains is A, being grateful for all the good in your life, and B, asking yourself if you've learned the lessons that this year has been trying to teach you. And if you're feeling stuck, this new moon really does have your back. Being as close to Uranus as it is, it's going to be like electric shock therapy that rips off the old all of a sudden. And even a tad thoughtlessly. Sudden changes and turnarounds are possible now, so don't write off 2021 if it doesn't seem to be ending as you'd like it to. Instead, use the power surge of this lunation to make bold choices, decisions, and intentions. And as you might know, manifesting is not just about wishing, it's also about taking follow-up action. So think about what you can do to make your dreams become real. And with Uranus active now, ingenuity and individuality will be applauded. And do you need to stop judging someone? Maybe yourself. Print out a picture of someone you've judged and set it on your altar or a table. Light a pink candle and then visualize love coming from your heart chakra and enveloping them. Ask them for forgiveness. Okay, so I think that is everything. We're going to look at these cards here, the Moonology cards. We have, of course, the new moon. A new start is coming. Yay! <laughs> we all like those. Who doesn't like a new start, especially if the year's been bad? And then we have emotions are running high, super moon. Yeah, the super moon, it just, um, it's not a bigger moon. It's just, it's closer to the earth. And so it looks bigger and it's brighter and it also has a much bigger effect on all of us. But it's a new moon. So it's about new beginnings. It's about exciting new ways, right? It's not like uh, a super full moon or anything. That would be horrific. Uh, new moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. Okay, this could be uh, this could be a very interesting new moon for everybody. So let's get into doing the readings for the zodiac signs. Okay, Sagittarius, before we get into your new moon reading, I want to recap your full moon reading from the full moon in Aries the two weeks ago. So it starts off with you needing, you had faith, okay? This takes you back to um, end of March of this year. You knew you'd have to have faith and trust and believe and have patience. By September, 
whatever this was hadn't happened yet. So you knew you had to have patience and you had to persevere because you've got the resilience card here. And this is October 25th. So that's about a week after the full moon. That's when um, you kind of come to the realization that you just have to keep persevering because there's growth that needs to take place. Now the growth is uh, dated for November 7th, the beginning of November, okay? This was about you coming together with somebody. You both have the same goal in mind. You both want to get to the same place. You want this new beginning. Fears have to be faced and released. When you think of them, they're thinking of you. A conversation needs to be had here. But you need to change your routine. You need to get yourself into that place where you're a little bit more aware of the way you're thinking, the way you're speaking. And to do so, the best way to do it is to change your routine so that you're not moving through life on autopilot. Because that's what we all do. We do the same thing every day about the same time. And it, it just becomes automatic, right? Because you have a great love headed your way. And I love this card here for you. I love you. Those are powerful words. And either you're going to say them to, to this person or this person is going to say it to you. But either way, you're both thinking and feeling and wanting the same thing. Okay. So there's your recap from the full moon. You had to release the fear. Okay. And just persevere towards your goal because you both want the same thing. Okay, now that we've recapped, let's get into your new moon reading. This moon is in your 12th house, and, and this is going to be a, kind of a strange cycle for you, and you will probably feel it. This month, the moon is taking place in a part of your chart where you keep everything hidden and spiritual, okay? It can be a time when you want to withdraw from the rest of the world and maybe just meditate, right? If you're on a spiritual path, you might want to meditate so that you can uh, get the messages that are coming in. But know that the universe is going to deliver the messages that you need to hear at this point in time, okay? You may get some of those messages here in this reading. In fact, you will get some of those messages here in this reading, but it's not the only messages. So you might want to meditate, okay? Okay, let's get into your new moon reading now. Okay. first card out is card number six, which is all about love. And that's exactly what this is. Waxing crescent four moon, self-love. Next card out you have, wow. Wow, this blows my mind. Your full moon reading was such a heightened energy reading. If you haven't seen it, you might want to watch it. I will link it toward the end of this video, but you've got card 44 here. That does not break down because 44 is an ascended master's number. And the higher the number goes, the higher the ascension of the master. Okay. This is pretty high. Super moon, which is what this is. This new moon in Scorpio is a super moon, meaning that the emotions are going to run high. This is attraction. <laughs> I feel like this is not going to be any different than your full moon reading. I think this is going to have such high energy levels. Okay, card 26 breaks down to an eight. This is all about abundance. Waning Crescent Three Moon, Surrender. <laughs> you're being carried forward, Sagittarius. That's why you're being asked to surrender. Wow. You had this in your full moon reading. This is the Green Corn Moon card. 
and it's patience. It's card 36, breaks down to a nine. This is all about tying up those loose ends, bringing everything to a close because you have a new beginning coming. So you need to get ready for the ending, whatever that is, but patience, okay? Um, I am going to uh, give you timing of, of all of these cards now and these situations. Okay, so to put these in order of timing, you have the attraction card first because this is the super moon, which is where we're at. This is November 4th, right? So this is all about what you're attracting. This is about the manifestations. In the full moon, it was all about what you were manifesting. Now that was in the extended version, but it was about manifesting, okay? Um, actually, I'm sorry, that is not the first card. The first card is the patience card because this is September 20th, this year, September 20th. So you have been patient from that point onward. And around the new moon, you are going to, um, something's going to come to fruition around the new moon. And if I remember correctly from your full moon reading, I think it was the November 7th was the timeline, which is close to the new moon. There was growth. And that growth was you leveling up to a very, <laughs> very, very high level. Again, it was in the extended that you had the high priestess. That was your growth. That's pretty high. That's having that knowing of just whatever you need to know, you know, okay? So after attraction, you have self-love. This is a waxing crescent four moon, and this is November 8th. So this is gonna be the day after attraction. So either you're attracting, or whatever it is that you're attracting requires self-love to attract it or the attraction itself, the manifestation itself is self-love, which would be awesome. And then the surrender card. This is a waning crescent three moon and this is November 30th. So by the end of November or thereabouts, okay, again, because it is energy and energy does not go by a, a clock or a calendar, you'll be surrendering something. So now we're going to get some Lunasomnia cards and I'm hoping that <laughs> that will help us pull everything together. This reading is starting out like your full moon reading did. It's, it's just not flowing. It's not meshing. It's not coming together like the readings usually do message wise. And it's confusing me. But the full moon for you was the same way. It wasn't clear until close to the end of the reading. And I think that's where you were at. You were having trouble with clarity. Patience and attraction. Nine of Swords. So... It's a catch-22, okay, because this is fear. The Nine of Swords is fear. It's worry. It's anxiety. For some of you, you you're fearing that because it's taking so long, it's not going to come to fruition. The attraction card is the manifested version of what you want, right? It's the coming up to fruition. And... You've had to be patient since back in September. And you're beginning to think, this isn't going to happen. So because you're thinking and feeling that, it's not happening. Because that's not the match energetically to the, the uh, manifestation, whatever it is you're trying to manifest. For others of you, this is about working through your fears. Because the new moon in Scorpio is just that. It's about working through your fears. And you did have a card that talked about releasing fear in the full moon. 
So before this can manifest, whatever this is for you, you have got to let go of the worry, the fears, the negativity around the manifestation, whatever it is you're wanting or hoping for. Now on the attraction and self-love, you have the Queen of Wands. Yes, she loves herself in a huge way. Huge. But this could be you, Sagittarius, because you are a fire sign and the Queen of Wands is a fire sign, male or female. Okay, it's just energy. She knows what she wants. She knows she's worthy. She knows her value for sure. She does have self-love. She is a very, uh, very sexy and very sensual being. She knows it. She knows she's attractive. She knows she can attract whatever she wants. That's where you are getting to. That's where you need to get to, okay? Having that self-love, which includes and involves self-worth. So now on top of self-love and surrender, you have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is all about communication. It also is a very, very fast, forward-moving energy. And although you've had patience, I feel like for some of you, what you're having to surrender is the need or the want for this to happen fast. This communication, maybe. Maybe you've been waiting for communication from a specific person and it just hasn't happened. And you're beginning to think it's never going to. You got to release that. Now, bottom of this deck and part of your overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles. It is a slow moving energy for sure. It's taken time. This is something that I feel like has, it's been ongoing for quite a while. This want of yours, this dream or wish. But something you need to know is the Knight of Pentacles, although he is the slowest moving knight in the deck, he is the one that's reliable. He's trustworthy. He's the one that's going to cross the finish line. So what that's telling me and telling you is this is going to take place. You don't have to worry about it anymore. It's going to take place, but you just have to be patient. You've got to get rid of the worry around it, the fear that it won't happen because that's blocking it from happening. Okay. The new start is coming. But you got to work through your fears. So now we're going to get Gaia Oracle cards. You watched me shuffle these. You had this card in your full moon reading in the exact same position. Card 23 breaks down to a five. This is about change, night wind, facing fear, subconscious release, and healing. You got to let it go. This is on top of the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Wands. You have to let go of the fear around this. Get to that place of knowing that it's yours, that you can have it. On the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands, you have card six, which is all about love. The search, feeling lost, confused, and lonely. Okay, so you got a couple of things you got to let go of here. The fear that this is not going to take place and feeling lost and alone. You're never alone. Look at the light here. This is spirit, your guides, God, whatever you call it. They're trying to enlighten you. They're trying to help you. You just got to be open to it. You remember from if you watched it your full moon reading from two weeks ago um oh where was i going lost my train of thought so 
sorry guys i lost my train of thought there hmm strange maybe it'll come back Okay, on top of facing fear, subconscious release, and feeling lost, confused, and lonely, you have camera. Reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, and make memories. I feel like that is a whole big part of this. The reminiscing. Again, it feels to me like this is someone from the past. This is maybe a relationship from the past that you're hoping can come back together and you're reminiscing and maybe you're even looking at pictures old pictures and keepsakes but there is something from the past that you need to learn there's a lesson there that needs to be learned and it maybe hasn't been yet and maybe that's what's um, stopping this from coming together Okay, I'm feeling sadness though. So some of you are feeling very sad and very lonely. But you shouldn't be. If you are, um, maybe watch the um, full moon reading and the extended because it was in the extended that all the the powerful energy came through for you it was unbelievable okay just ask oracle on top of camera now exercise is important energy work it is exercise helps you to move stagnant energy out of your body because stagnant energy is going to block you from moving forward as well okay it's not just your thoughts and your emotions it's not moving even just a, a a brisk walk every day 30 30 minutes to 60 minutes that'll do it treadmill if you don't want to go outside but exercise is important okay now we're going to get a synchronicity oracle card Sagittarius again you watched me shuffle you had this card in your full moon reading in the exact same place when I created this deck I had been seeing all these different numbers quite frequently I wanted to know what they meant so I asked my guides whatever they gave me is what I put on the cards so if you're seeing 222 it means a great love is headed your way You've got to find a way to get past the fear and the lonely, confused. What else was on here? Feeling lost, lonely, and confused. You've got to find a way to get rid of that too because that will block you from this great love that's on its way to you. Okay. Now we're going to get a Whispers of Love card. Now, I want to point out the full moon, the full moon reading is um, still in play. It's in play until the 19th of November, okay? So, it might be a good idea for you to go back and watch that. So on top of exercise is important energy work and a great love is headed your way. You've got card 48. That breaks down to a 12, which breaks down to a 3. This is all about your growth and evolution. Demonstrate love. Find out what's important to those you love and act on it. Maybe this is what needs to happen with this person. 
You need to demonstrate your love to them. Walk the walk. Don't just talk the talk, right? Maybe that's your person. It's what they're going to do for you. It can go either way, right? Okay, I'm going to get a soul's journey card for you. I'm feeling a lot of back and forth here. I don't know what that is. It's it's kind of strange. You know, one minute we're moving forward, and then it feels like the next minute we're stopped. The next minute we're going in a backwards direction. It's back and forth, back and forth. I don't know what that is, but you probably do. Okay. Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Yeah, you can, Sagittarius. Big time. Fire signs are big for this. Huge. Okay, now I'm going to get a very direct and specific message for you from Spirit with a Motivation Manifesto card. Any plunge into the unknown is reckless, but that's where the treasure lies. I feel like this might be where you are, because in the full moon, part of your overall energy was the Two of Swords. It's about not moving forward, being stuck in place because you're unsure of which direction to take. You don't have enough information. This is saying, move forward anyway, because that's where the treasure is going to be found for you. I like that very much. I like that for you. Okay, I want to ask Spirit and your guides just exactly what it is that you need to do, be, think, and or feel to get out of this stagnation, to get unstuck in these emotions and move yourself forward into manifesting this great love that has been headed your way for two readings now. We're going to do that in the extended. So click on the title of this video to drop down in the description box. That's where the link is. The decks are, are all listed there as well. Those of you going over, I will see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys, and I will see you next time. <laughs>